Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are back on the Normandy after finishing Samara's loyalty mission. In the previous episode, we went after Morinth and we found her and Samara killed her. But uh, something interesting happened. Uh, we could have recruited Morinth into our squad. That is interesting. Anyways, that's that. We finished, like I said, uh, Samara's loyalty mission. And now we have... Just give me a second here. We have two assignments that we need to do. To do. We have this Omega Packages for Ish assignment. Ish is this Solarian dude that Jacob knows, but Jacob doesn't like him. So I think he's a little bit dodgy. Anyways, he wants us to pick up a package for him from either the Citadel or the uh, Eternity on Ilium. Um, so we're gonna go probably to the Citadel to get the package. Sorry. And then we also have this N7 uh, Haneketer facility, which we also need to do. So, yeah. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's see. Any messages here? Kelly didn't say anything, so presumably there's nothing. Nope, no new messages. Okay, we also have a few... Just give me a second. We have a few upgrades, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. Weapon upgrades. Uh, yep, assault rifle damage. Here we go. Let's do that. <clears throat> Ship enhancements. The Normandy represents... Okay, okay, okay. What, what, what? Normandy now has 50% fuel cell capacity. Engine refitted with... Heat Industries Design Helios thr Thruster Module. Okay, that's cool. Awesome, I like that. And... Nope, that's about it. Okie dokie. <clears throat> uh, wait a second, wait a second. Let's have a chat with uh, Morden here. Let's see if he has anything else he wants to share with us. Maybe a new song. Shepard, how can I help? How are you, my friend? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical really? Matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. What's going on? Aware that you and Jack are sexually active or planning uh, to be. what? Suggest caution. Emotionally unstable biotics dangerous during intercourse. Uh, what now? <laughs> I believe you've been misinformed about my intentions. <laughs> Apologies. Small ship, <laughs> word travels, rumors, exaggerations, information mutation. Hope rumors of Joker and Edie similarly Whoa, exaggerated. whoa, what, what, what? <clears throat> Joker and Edie. <laughs> okay, well, we cut that short. Um... Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got Whoa. call from nephew. Okay. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Okay, that's, that's cool. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep... Two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example. Yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Some humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have that problem. When someone yawns uh, next to me or whatever, I don't feel the need to yawn back but i know that uh, yeah it's a thing you can i mean th that happens okay are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back no aware survival unlikely but actually contacted him for family connection hard to imagine galaxy too many people faceless statistics easy to depersonalize 
good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Wow, that is that is super nice. Super nice of you, Morden. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly, by your standards, don't live much past 40. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Borden. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's soulless biography vid. <laughs> Unless we all die. <laughs> proud posthumously, in that case. Regardless. Thank you. Morden has a very uh, good facial expression. And you can see, it's funny how his eyes are pitch black. But you can still see when he is saddened by something. Shepard, how can I Anything help? Else? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's <laughs> insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting okay. morale. Anything else? No, no. I'll let you work. Yeah. We'll be here you if you do need. that. You do you do you, Morden. You do you. Okay. <laughs> so um Yeah. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. Especially the part about Jack, which we shut down pretty fast. <laughs> That makes me wonder how this is going to go down. Ah, well. Okay. Um, anything here with Thane? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Okay. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Cool. Okay, then. So, I take it that's about it with everybody except for... Except for, just give me a second here, Samara. Hi there, Samara. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Uh, yeah, I bet it isn't. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. When you live a thousand years, forty years is very, very young. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardatyakshi. Your mission, okay. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yachi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Okay, got it. 
You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Cool. Okay, that was a good talk, Samara. Anything else you'd like to tell us? Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. Got it. I wish to meditate. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I have done what I can to increase our exploration capabilities. Okay. Anything beyond that is up to cool. you. Cool. I should go. Of course. That's it. Okie dokie. Now, um... Just a second. Let me see here. Let's uh, see if Grunt has anything else he'd like to talk to us about. Shepard? Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. Cool. Okay. That's all for now. Shepard. Awesome. Okie dokie. Now that we've uh, spoken with everybody, I don't think anybody else has anything else to say. So... Yep, let's go back here and let's do what we have to do here. No messages for you. Got commander. it, Kelly, thank you. Now, let's see. Back. And Oh, here we go, here we go. We have 1500. Okay, let's just fill it up then. Like so. And Let's see here. Shadow Broker Base, no. Ilium. No, I said I'd, I'd like to go to the Citadel. Yeah, let's go to the Citadel. And um, find uh, that package for Ish. then we can do the final assignment that we have. The final N7 assignment. Awesome. Okay. And after that, it's going to be the big Reaper, Reaper IFF mission. Which I really don't know what what's that going to be like. We haven't dealt with the collectors in a while now. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Come on. Okay, let's go with Jacob here. And let's see Samara's appearance. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, let's go with Samara as well. Except we have two points. Uh-huh, two points, huh? Okay. We need more points. We need more than two. We need four you have two points, you have only one point. Really? Reeve here. Reeve is cool, man. Damages targets nervous or synthetic systems to prevent healing, restores health, and gives a temporary health bonus when the power is used against organics. Reeve also does double damage to armor and barriers. Yeah, that sounds very cool. If we can learn that, I think that would be useful as well. But, yeah, we'll see. Um... Sidiary ammo. Yeah, let's go with barrier level 2. Yeah, why not? For just rank. Okay, let's go. We have to find a store, right? Come on. 
Come on. So we have to find where is it? Marab's shop on the citadel. Okay. Let's go through here. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. And Marab's shop. Just a second. Where are the shops downstairs? Do, uh, no. Anything here? Nope. Let's see. This is going upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs first. Come on, Marab's shop. No. No, not here. Come on. I think it's uh I think it's downstairs. Yeah, it should have it should be downstairs. Damn it. Okay then. Right? Because it's not yeah, it's not here. Is it? Nope, it's not here. Okay. Go, go, go. Let's get back here and go downstairs. So I was right the first time. I'm very curious to find out, like, I'm very curious, sorry, to uh, do Tali's loyalty mission. Which... Which I kept for the moment, because uh, some of you guys advised me that it would be in more interesting to do once we get our final squad member. So, yeah, curious to see why you said that, and how, what's that gonna be like, what's, you know... Anyway, just uh, voicing my 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 thoughts here. Uh, where the where the heck is it? Marab, here we go, here we go. Whoa, what is this data data pad? Subject: Anto Bektal. Anto Bektal is a member of the criminal organization headed up by Arya Tilok, often considered the Pirate Queen of Omega. Well, while Arya's gang is mostly airtight. Anto has an eye toward outside work. Whether this is an exploitable hole, we we're not sure. This is this Arya Tilok. This is Arya Tilok after all. What? Deliver the package to Ish in the markets of Omega. What the hell was that? Was that inside information about uh, Arya's um one of Arya's men, basically? Hmm. I don't know if I should be going to Ish with that. Maybe, maybe go to Arya first? Okay, let's, uh, let's just, let's, um, let's go back to Omega really fast. Sorry, this is taking so long. Uh, let's go back to Omega and I think I'm going to go to, sorry, um, I'm going to go to Arya first with this information because I actually trust Arya more than I would trust, uh, like, than I would trust this dude who, like, Jacob doesn't even really like, so there's, like I said, that there's something shady about him anyway. So, let's go to Normandy. Yeah, let's do that. going to uh, go in the journal first and just r read uh, the assignment again just to see but hmm. 
So let's see, let me see here. Okay. Okay. Deliver the package to Ish in the markets of Omega. Yeah, but but that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna uh, go have a chat with Arya. See if there's anything like you know, anything there basically. Oop, mass relay, plot of jump, and let's go back to where is it? Omega. Because, like, basically, what, what this guy is saying, and, like, what that notepad was saying, datapad was saying, is that <laughs> there's a, there's a, like, a breach in uh, Arya's tight operation. And uh, Arya has a lot of enemies, I'm sure, so, yeah. Maybe, maybe we should go to her first. 